there's bad stuff going on. Come and help me, king. My queen, what is it? Where are you? I'm right here. I'm so sad because I, I've heard there's something going on, and then I heard about soldiers. Soldiers? I didn't order any soldiers. But I heard this lady talking online. She was talking about soldiers of the Lord, that we could be Christian soldiers. Oh, what's going on, the king said. I did not order any soldiers. But the lady, she talked about Christian soldiers being a soldier for God. Let me check with my army. I'll be right back. Help, help, where are the soldiers? Sir, I've done all that I can to try to protect us, but I am afraid it might not be enough. So I've brought in an extra. Who was it that you brought in? Well, sir, I've brought in the G.I. Joe man. What? I don't think that's what we've been talking about when we're talking about Christian soldiers. And it sure isn't going to help us fight any war. <sighs> But he is a G.I. Joe. Oh. Honey, we're going to need to get some more help. It's okay, honey. I got my favorite pet. Who's that? Well, you'll see. I always keep my favorite pet around in case there's something terrible going on. Because he'll protect me. Dragon. I just love you so much. I hope you can be my good Christian soldier. Uh-oh. I don't think they've been going to Sunday school much because they don't know what being a Christian soldier is all about. Good songs at Luminate Children's Choir at iTunes or Amazon.com. and girls, we are the Treehouse Church Puppets. You remember me from when you were here at Treehouse. My name is Gabby. I like to talk a lot. And this, this is my friend Abby. Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Abby and I love coming to Treehouse to learn all the lessons about Jesus from God's Word. Well, the last couple of weeks, we haven't been here, Abby. What have the kids been doing? Well, I don't understand that, but Mrs. Bass, the director, tried to put on a show or a lesson or something last week, and it was just, uh, it was great, wasn't it, because it was from God's Word? Well, yeah, yeah, okay, it was good. 
Remember, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all, Abby. Okay. So, she told us in that lesson that there would be soldiers. Ooh, soldiers. I don't know. My, my brother plays in the G.I. Joes and stuff like that, but I've never seen soldiers in the Bible like G.I. Joes. Have you, Abby? No. Just in my brother's room. It's like we're in there all the time, the room says. Well, what can we learn then about the Bible? Yeah, Patty. Patty says we can learn a whole lot. Daddy, what are we learn about today? Well, Mrs. Bass says we're going to learn from Ephesians 6. It's all about swords and shields and helmets and belts. Oh, I like belts. There's some pretty ones. Do you like belts, Abby? Yeah, I love belts. I've got a big belt for my left hand. Today's all about belts? No! I know a lady named Miss Rita, and she wears sparkly belts all the time. Sparkly belts? I don't think that's what's in the Bible today, Abby. But I know we've heard of the armor of God. The Bible says that we have to be ready and put on our armor. Because the devil wants to make all the Christians miserable. <sighs> Forget it. I've got the armor of God. And Abby, you do too if you know Jesus as your Savior. I do? Huh? Huh? I don't know what that's you. Oh, Abby. It's a good thing you're here with me at Sunday school. Let's see what the church lady has to say about the armor of God. See you in a bit. Bye, everyone. I'm going to go get a new bed. Come on, Gabby. Let's go. I'm going to go out for pizza later. No, we go out for pizza right now. No, 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 pizza. here, the treehouse lady, ready to help straighten out the puppet you just saw. So who's right? Well, we certainly don't need any G.I. Joes, but we do need the Word of God. He says that no matter what's going on, that he will protect us, but we've got to be ready too. You know, there's some bad things in the world, and um, God's angels are going to watch over you. But you need to be strong like a soldier, too, and be prepared when things come your way, like when the devil tries to make you do bad stuff, you know, like poke your brother in the back or lock him out of the house, or, well, maybe your sister's annoying you, so you whack her in the head. Wow, that's the devil. You gotta not listen to that stuff. Be prepared to be okay. Here's what the Word of God says. Let's take a look at it. In Ephesians 6, verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness at high places. Boys and girls, that just means it's really not your brother or your sister, or your mom or your dad. You know, there's sin in the world, and the devil is in charge of all that, and he just likes to try to mess with you. And uh, that's not okay. So you're wrestling against him. It's, it, it's not everybody else. Let's see what else. And wherefore, the Bible says, take unto you the whole armor of God. Well, I've brought some armor today we're going to look at. And that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So stand, therefore. Don't hide, don't run, don't whine, don't, I didn't do it, I just want to go to bed. Uh, stand up and uh, uh, put on the armor of God and do the right thing. You know, if you mess up, you got to fess up. So, did you do it? Well, get it right and then 
get it right. Talk to God and say, hey, I, I need more strength. So think about what armor you're missing. Let's see. Stand, therefore, having your loins skirt about with truth. Ugh. You know what that means? Let's talk about that for a minute. Well, in just a minute. Let's see. What else do the rest of this say? It says, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of gospel of peace. God does care about all of your body. And after all, taking the shield of faith. Yep, I, I got that too. The little soldier, uh, you know, that brought the G.I. Joe, he had a shield. It's not going to do it. You, you need a different shield if you're going to keep Satan from messing with you. Um, all quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You know, uh, I don't know if you ever play Nerf guns, but they're kind of fun. But when people start shooting at you, you're like, hey, 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 you know, uh, you got you to gotta have some defense, don't you? You've got to have some way. Uh, to to dodge those, to get out of the way. And well, these darts that Satan sends, they're not nerf darts. And the Bible even says that they're fiery darts. Uh, man, darts on fire? Boys and girls don't do that at home. That'll get you in a lot of trouble. Okay. Um, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So let's talk about that. Anybody make a helmet this week? Anybody go belt shopping after they saw Abby and Gabby? Well, I did get some belts for Abby and Gabby. Let me show them to you. Abby and Gabby are puppets at church, and I got this really shiny one. I don't know. You think Abby would like it or Gabby? I don't know. Maybe Miss Rita, if they don't like it. Ooh, and here's a real fancy one. Another belt. Well, they might like these belts, but these are not the belts that the Bible talks about. Let's talk about that for a minute. The belt of truth is the first piece of the full armor of God. Uh, in Ephesians 6, 10 through 17, the passage begins with Paul uh, talking to us to be about being strong in the Lord. And he encourages us. He says, uh, you've got to be ready and be strong. And so you need all these things from the Lord. And here's what you need. You need the armor of God. So let's talk about all those pieces. All the pieces of armor belong to him and they come from him. Truth, righteousness, the gospel, faith, and salvation. All are gifts of God to his people for their defense. All except the sword of the spirit and which is the word of God, verse 17. All of those others are defensive, but we'll find out about the word of God, how it's different. It doesn't just defend us, what it can actually do. So all are stand to help us, or all are designed to help us stand against the, the devil and all his little tricky, tricky ways. Um, the belt of the truth, yeah, this isn't exactly what it looks like, but you get the idea. Let me see. I'll put these up here so I'll remember to take them to uh, Abby and Gabby at church. But the belt of the truth um, is part of the armor listed because without truth, we are lost. Don't you hate it when somebody lies to you or tells you something that's not the truth? Like yesterday, it was April Fool's Day. Uh, and man, I bet there were some people trying to do some things that weren't the truth. And that could be annoying. It could be hurtful. Occasionally, like on April Fool's Day, it might be funny, but mostly it's just irritating and it can make people believe the wrong things. So boys and girls, the Bible says you need the truth. So uh, that's the first piece of armor. Do you have your your belt? Um, the belt of truth is the first piece of the whole armor of God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It says in John 14, 6, that he is the truth. And it's only through him that we come to God. It's the only way. You, you can't get to heaven any other way. Just you have to you have to go through Jesus. You have to have Jesus. Uh, because he's the truth. So do you have the truth? Do you do you know the truth, first of all? And so the truth is the most important part of being a Christian soldier. So without truth, the rest of the whole armor wouldn't be any use to us because we wouldn't have the spirit of truth, John fifteen twenty six. So boys and girls, do you know Jesus? Uh, have you asked him to be your personal savior? He loves you very much. You need that truth first before you can put on all the rest of this cool armor that I'm going to tell you about. 
to help you be joyful and protected and happier. So last but not least, Ephesians 6, 14 tells us all these things. We've got to fasten the belt of truth around us. We have to buckle it up around our waists. Uh, we have to gird our loins. Uh, that's some old words in the Bible that actually mean just put it around your waist. Uh, tighten it up. If you gird it, you're going to girdle it up. You're going to tighten it up so it stays on real goodness, real close to you. And so the belt of truth is a crucial piece of defensive armor guarding our inmost being. I mean, that, that belt of truth, it goes right here and it, it guards you right here. Very important to guard yourself. And right in there is your heart and your spirit. Everything that God gives you is right here, not here. It's all right here. So guard that without an understanding of truth which is the word of God, it's all true. Uh, without that, we're left vulnerable. That means that it's like, you know, it's like if you had a, 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 a Nerf gun fight and you had a shield, but you didn't have a Nerf gun. And, uh, ooh, or even more fun, like if you're having a water gun fight, but you don't have a water gun, just your sister, and it's a big one. You know, like if you've got your big shield up, and it's just got a bunch of holes in it, uh, and you don't have it close to you, like, she, it's going to get you. You're still going to get wet. So make sure that you're not vulnerable. Have that uh, close to you. Know the truth. Do you read God's Word every day? Boy, you need to do that so that you can know the truth, okay? Um, the Bible says that if we don't know the truth, if we don't study God's Word, that we're going to be vulnerable for all these things to get in, like the tricky, tricky devil and all his little plots and schemes to get us. It says that the devil's even kind of crafty like a fox. And sometimes he uses people to kind of get in and help us, make us want to do bad things. You know, like maybe a friend who says, go ahead and do that video game. It's a really cool game. Like, you know, you can kill people and like, it's got, wait, right? The Bible says we're not supposed to enjoy killing people. No, wait, wait, wait. We need to find things that are um, true and without reproach and things that are good for us that make us feel good. That stuff doesn't make us feel good. In fact, it puts bad stuff here. And it kind of makes this part of us feel sad. So the belt of truth protects us and it prepares us for a battle that we're going to have in every Christian life. Do you have your belt on? If you've asked Jesus to come into your heart, if you've asked him, Jesus, please forgive me my sin. The Bible says I'm a sinner and I believe that because I believe your word. I know it's the truth. I want it close to me. I want to put that on. Lord, I, I want to be prepared. I want to be happier. I want to feel calm and protected. God, would you please come into my heart? Would you please forgive me my sin? Boys and girls, that's what I did years ago. I was like older. I was like a young mom when I asked Jesus into my heart. It's the best day of my life. So I've never been happier. And God just is with me all the time. Even in the bad things, like even coronavirus, um, you know, he's right there with us. He's, he didn't, he's not doing this to us. He's doing it with us. He's with us as these bad things have come that are in the world because of sin. Um, do you have your armor on? Are you ready so that you won't be pulled down or tricked by all the bad stuff out there that comes from Satan? Be ready. Got your belt?